Hi, I'm Fred Drummond. I'm the Scottish Director of Evangelical Alliance and I have the privilege of being the Alliance's Prayer Director. I think one of the most significant and important things that all communities of faith are going to have to think about and put in place over the next few months is a clear theology of lament. Why do I think that? I think we will be faced with lots of people of faith who are carrying wounds, doubts, pains and sorrows that they have never experienced before. People who have not been able to say bye to people they loved. Others who have not managed to get to a funeral. Some who are fearful. Relationships that have been torn apart. Others just uncertain about the future as unemployment grips us. We will be facing an avalanche of psychological and emotional and spiritual pain. And we as a church, as a family, need to be able to deal with the realities that people are experiencing in the light and grace of who God is. We cannot simply rush by and ignore the hurts and pains of the individuals that call Jesus Saviour and Lord. Therefore, some of us are going to have to rethink the way in which we engage in worship, in reflection, in how we share the story of Jesus' grace and love together. What do I mean by a theology of lament? Lament is such an important part of the story of all the people who follow God. It is at the heart of the biblical narrative. Whether you look in the Psalms or the Prophets or the Gospels, you find people wrestling with the reality that they were enduring and the reality of what God has promised them. And sometimes crying out to God, God, you must do something. It's not just a series of complaints, but rather it is a transformative journey as people honestly go before their God and cry out, showing the wounds that they carry and inviting God into their situation. Quite often, the Psalms of Lament start with a cry and a tear and a frustration, but end with a declaration that only God can come and do amazing things. We need to rediscover that and find ways in which we can help walk with people. It will take patience, understanding, perhaps prayer journaling, liturgy, listening, will all be significant parts as we move forward and as we hear together the power of healing and grace and love that we find in God as we share our honesty, even in the midst of that sorrow and hurting, and find the Spirit coming and touching and moving. So how do we create a theology of lament that enables us to move forward in stronger ways as a people together? I've put one or two ideas on the EA's website and I hope that you'll have a look as we journey together and see God meet with us even in our times of struggle, uncertainty and doubt.